Hello, Chintipur TV. I am Turkey Dirk. Just want to have a little strategy guide for you guys because I have not seen anything like that out there whatsoever. Maybe it'd be useful. Disregard all the seal clubbing in this video. Forget the fact that this is not a team game. You don't really have voice chat. And you're always better off with a clan of four on PvP. So here's some general tips that might help you win more games than you have been. Let's give it a shot. So, on your typical game, the first thing I do is check the map. You want to see where your teammates are going. Ideally, they're going to stay together. Maybe not so close that a Mandrake will take them out, but pretty close. And it's not great if they split up, and even worse, they'll just kind of, kind of move around randomly. So stay behind your team. Once you see where they're going, just stay right behind the blue dots. And keep hitting tab, open up your map, and then learn how to use that radar on the bottom. So here's some general tips for some mid-ridge kind of vehicles. This can work all throughout the board. So this is counterintuitive, but you don't want the red dots on your map. You want blue dots. Blue dots is safety. Red dots are death. Stay with the blue and out of the red. If you're the guy who is always going out there on your own, getting killed by all the enemy, then you might want to yeah, pay attention to that tip. So. Now that the front line is engaged, you stay behind. You focus on taking out the enemies and their weapons. Don't have to go for kills, just degun them one by one. And unless someone is flipped and you know they're not going to die right away, you can take advantage of the enemy distraction. Now, you might say, Durky, that's selfish. Well, whether they know it or not, your teammates on the front line are relying on you to help them stay alive. The more armor you have in the end game, the better. So don't get wrecked now. Just stay behind and shoot. Of course, also don't forget many times the game will end by capturing points. So not being in the middle of the mobs makes you flexible enough to break off and go back and defend your point. That's also really important. People forget you win by capping a lot of times. So those tips will work across the board. Now we'll get more specific without going into builds themselves. In general, melee. Melee is the best 1v1. No other weapons are better suited for 1v1 than melee. Of course, you might want to avoid tracks. Not Goliaths, unless they have an anti-wedge system. You just kind of pick them up like a tree. It's pretty hilarious. You, just, you raise them up, you just leave them the whole game. is kind of funny. So, of course, your main disadvantage is you take damage on your approach, and you don't do damage unless you're within kissing range. So you really do have to have a cloak. Everyone with melee assumes that you are frontline material. You are not. That's why you get wrecked, and then you say melee sucks. So, more than ever, stay behind your team. Then you find a nice place to hide. So I'm waiting for my team to engage. And then I'll either stay behind a cluster of friendlies or I'll try to find an enemy who isolated himself, go for that one target, get a kill, and then don't just stay there, reposition. Yes, you can get mob kills. And then what's going to help you there is understanding the enemy weapons, staying behind the fixed weapons, getting away from the shotguns, keep moving to avoid the cannons, and go for the unprotected bits. Ideally, you do want your team to back you up. Shotguns have a similar strategy, but there's so many other strategies. I'm just going to kind of focus on the short range. So, long range. Now, I am not a sniper, but I truly believe sniping has a very weak place in this game. The scope works really poorly compared to other games. Your view is depending on where you place the scope, and your weapon reticles are completely independent of where the scope is looking. Some people have perfected the scope, that's fine. I think it's fun, but I just don't think it's good sniping equipment like in other games. Also, snipers tend to lose the game for everyone, and this is common knowledge, okay? despite the fact that people insist on sniping. So what advantage you might say is you can support, do crowd control on the point. But enemies can usually hide from you, and remember, they share the same line of sight, so once they see you shooting, they're going to shoot you back. Meanwhile, they are capping the point, and you're too far to do anything about that. Also, as a sitting target, you will be sneaked up from behind and get wrecked. So in my experience, Games will usually end with me watching one or two snipers in the kill cam, who just didn't do enough for the team and the enemies are capping and that's just kind of very, very common. A better solution would be to use the same as the general strategy, only you're staying somewhat behind the blue dots and you're giving support fire. So you're not advertising yourself on a hilltop and you're not too far that your team can't help you. One more thing guys, domination. You have to cap your two points. 
So I don't quite get it, especially in Rock City. You all do the big brawl thing in the beginning, and this game is gonna be over in like five seconds, and I guess... Seriously, while well, you guys are fighting, we're capping the point, and it's just a big freaking mess. I, I don't even know how to consistently win this game, it's just so broken, so... Guys, I honestly, I, I don't know what to say. I hope this helps. I know this game is very complex and there's so many different kinds of builds, so many different kinds of mechanics. It gives you some focus about what to do. Remember those general guidelines. Alright, this has been Dirky Dirk, and I will see you later. Ciao. Don't drop that Dirk and Dirk. Hey, don't drop that Dirk.